today I'm going to show you how to use the SpinVid app. We've just launched this new version, so there's lots of upgrades and features that are new to everyone, but it's still very simple and intuitive to use, and it's really an improvement from the previous version. SpinVid is a great app to get your music seen and heard. It adds this visual element, which we all know how important video content is in 2023. And that's the reason that we created the app, is for DJs and producers and artists to share their music and to be able to do it from their phone. Before we get started, there are a few things that you'll want to have ready. You would want to have your photo or GIF that you'd like to use for your vinyl. You'd also need to get your background graphic GIF or image or whatever you want to use for your background you're also going to want to have your audio ready. You don't have to export with audio. You could do that in post-production or in Instagram if that's where you're planning to upload your video. You could do that, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to say get your track ready. SpinBib will accept WAV and also MP3 files. So those three things you're going to definitely need and you're also probably going to want to decide on SpinVid Premium or Free. Today I'm using the Premium version of SpinVid, so I'm going to have all of the features unlocked. If you're using the Free version, you're not going to have the same capabilities as me, but it's really easy to upgrade, and then you'll unlock all of the features. So when you open the SpinVid app, it's going to bring you to this page that says Put Your Spin On It. You're going to click the button that says start creating and then you're going to click create new project. You're going to be brought to choose your aspect ratio page. So we have the 1 to 1 aspect ratio option and the 9 by 16 aspect ratio option. The 1 to 1 is great for your traditional kind of Instagram square post or carousel post. And your 9 by 16 is perfect for Instagram reels. Instagram stories, YouTube shorts, and of course, TikTok. So for today's purposes, I'm just going to use the one-to-one -one aspect ratio. And now we are brought to the default screen in SpinBid. Here in the middle, we have the square where you can see the vinyl spinning on the turntable. This square is called the canvas. And at the bottom of the screen, you have the toolbar which has five options, which are vinyl, background, audio, text, and effects. And then within each tab in the toolbar, you have buttons. So this is the vinyl tab button options. I'm also going to show you this button up here, which is the start over button. So it's no big deal if I start over right now because I haven't changed anything yet, but it will take you right back to the beginning in case you need to use that. But here I'm going to start by placing a GIF on my vinyl. Um, you can choose an image as well, but I would like to go with a GIF today. I already think that looks pretty cool, but I'm going to show you what the other buttons do. So you do have the option to choose a color for your vinyl, if you would like to do so. I'm not going to do that, I'm going to stick with my GIF next button you have the option to change the size of the vinyl so you could pretty much take up the whole screen with it or make it very small i'm going to try to keep it around the same size as the turntable you can also change the spin speed and make it a lot faster i prefer it to be a bit slower but maybe you want to match it with uh, your bpm or just the energy of your track it's totally up to you here we have a button that says center and the reason we have that is because we've added the ability to drag your vinyl around on the canvas. So you can move it wherever you want. Let's say you decide you want it right back in the middle and you might find it a little bit hard to place it and make sure it's in the middle. You can click that center button and it will recenter the vinyl. So that's helpful. You also have the option to add a label like a traditional vinyl. So you can toggle that on and off if you like. Next I'm going into the background tab 
And here I'll show you the colors again because if you're on the free version of Spoonvid, you're not going to be able to upload a background. I actually think that looks pretty cool with the white, but I'm going to upload the GIF as well. Because I think this will look really cool. It looks awesome. I already love that. And here in the background tab, I'm also able to remove the watermark. Again, that's because I'm using the premium version of Spinvid. Next, I'm going to head into the audio tab. And remember when I said you're going to want that track on your phone? This is where that comes in handy. So I'm just going to type in mp3 so I can find my track. And now you can see it's uploaded. I'm going to use these lines at the end of the audio file to trim it to where I would like the track to start and end. So I'm just going to do a little test with that. Just check it's where I want it. Looks pretty cool to me. And now I'm going to show you how to use this text feature. You can add up to two lines of text and the text you can drag it all around wherever you want. I'm going to start with line one and I'm going to just type in Spinvid tutorial. Um, I'm going to change the font to something cool. Let's try that and then I can make it a little bit bigger and I can change the color. I'll go with a Spinvid colored font so that looks pretty great and I realize for line 2 I'm going to put July 23 I'm going to change it to this font and I'll keep the color as white actually that looks pretty good but maybe I've changed my mind on the font I just want to show you the options to remove it, you can just drag it right out of the screen. As for effects, those are coming soon. So at the moment, I feel pretty happy about my spin vid. So now I'm ready to export it. So I can just click right up here. And it should export very quickly. This is something we worked on to improve a lot. Now I can just save it to my device. And there you have it. You can create a SpinVid really easily from your phone. And you can share these awesome videos with your friends and with your fans on social media. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. I'm going to be releasing a lot more tutorials and I can address any topic that you like. So let me know what you want to see. I hope this was an easy tutorial for you to follow and that you're loving what the app can do and I will be creating a lot more tutorials really soon and don't forget to subscribe so that you can see them when I post. Thank you guys for watching.